Welcome to Iowa High School Friday Night Football. It's Sirius XM's High School Football Game of the Week, featuring the Class 1A SK Cobras, hosting the Class 2A Mid Prairie Golden Hawks in non-district action tonight from Sigourney on Iowa High School Friday Night Lights. This is the tale of three school districts, a football rivalry, and mass confusion over the past three decades. In the early 1980s, Sigourney and Kyoto agreed to start sharing a superintendent to save money. This was an on-again, off-again relationship, but the seed was planted. In the late 80s, Kyoto only had about five players out for football, and Sigourney coach Bob Howard said, hey, why don't you come over and play with us? And so, SK football was born. And as the years passed, Sigourney and Kyoto started sharing more and more, like wrestling, media specialist, industrial tech, business manager, and even a cross-country coach. They were sharing so much, most people thought SK was a school district. However, Sigourney didn't have soccer, so Kyoto started sharing soccer with Mid Prairie around 2005. A few years later, while Kyoto and Sigourney were sharing a superintendent, Kyoto decided to look elsewhere for a superintendent and started sharing superintendent and business manager with Mid Prairie. This stirred up a lot of questions and confusion. Would the SK football program of 20 years come to an end? Would Mid Prairie and Kyoto consolidate? Many around Kyoto thought the district would only last a few more years at most, and that was five years ago. And today, Kyoto still shares a superintendent, business manager, and technology coordinator with Mid Prairie, and still shares football and wrestling with Sigourney. And Kyoto students still play soccer at Mid Prairie. So the big question is, what hat does Mid Prairie slash Kyoto superintendent Mark Schneider wear when he goes to these games? Last week, the Cobras held off district rival Pella Christian 29-27 in a back-and-forth all-out brawl that featured some great plays on both sides of the ball. Quarterback Blaine Gretter connected on five of five passes, including two touchdowns, one to Nate Owen, and a 42-yard strike to Peyton Crawford. Crawford dominated the ground game with 226 yards and a 67-yard touchdown run. But it was the defense that saved the day with Gretter, Crawford, and sophomore Ben Applegate all nabbing interceptions and Ben Horace and Avery Moore saving big plays with five and six tackles each. But the game changer seemed to be something that the Cobras aren't known for. And senior Cole Striegel hit a 29-yard field goal that was the difference in the end. Mid Prairie's coming off a 34-20 win over West Burlington Notre Dame. In that game, quarterback Ryan Cordham threw for 119 yards and two touchdowns, both to sophomore Levi Dua. Senior Austin Slabaugh ran for 135 yards and scored twice. On the defensive side of things, it was Cordham again with two interceptions and Dua with six tackles and two of those were solo sacks. The Golden Hawks are bouncing back after losing big in their first two games of the season and feel they have turned a corner. This football rivalry dates back to 1994 with SK dominating the first five games and since then it's been back and forth with Mid Prairie winning big in 2008-2009 and then SK winning their district title beating Mid Prairie 56-20 in 2010. The Cobras lead the series 7-4 and tonight is the first meeting since 2011. Cobras and Golden Hawks tonight in Sigourney on Iowa High School. Friday Night Football. <laughs>